Welcome to this installment of the Tiger Create tutorial series. In this part, we want to look at smooth animations along a busy curve. For this, we look at our old scene again, we used so many times, and we look at the ice float again. We want to move this one from the background to the foreground here. And we want to make it bigger. So we start recording by using the record button and uh, remember with a key the first position and the scale. And um, then we uh, just move it along here, make it a little bit bigger and uh, move it along some more to this position here, make it a little bit bigger again and then move it to the final position around here and make it even bigger. And uh, we want to give it a set order that is higher than the set order of the other items so it's visible. Now we watch it. It's very fast, want to see it again? Yes. Um, it's a bit fast, so uh, we can make it slower by stopping the record mode and then just uh, marking and moving the keys after scaling. So, on this one here and move this one again. Now, if you watch it, it's a bit slower. So, but as you have seen, it's not exactly a nice curve the ice is going. It has lots of edges, hard corners. I now want to have a real smooth animation along a BC curve. First, I delete all the position keys and all the scale keys. Now I go to the scene navigator and add a BZ curve using the plus sign and BZ. I give it a name, I call it Ice Pan. This is a BZ element. It has a starting point with a small arrow, you see, at this moment, at this point, the object will start and go in this direction as the arrow shows when you move it along this path. And it has a second point here, the ending point. You can add new points when you click the control key. You have to use it to edit the stuff. You have to use it to change the handles. And you can click on the line and just add a new point. This new point gets new handles to play around with. Um, when you do a right click on a point, you can remove the handles if you do not want to have them. And you can add them later on again for fine tuning your curve. But uh, I do not need this point here for my curve. I delete it. And now I zoom back out and take this point here. This should be the ending point and around here should be the starting point of the curve. So, and now move it here a little bit and I make the curve a bit stronger by playing around with the handles. And this is now my path, called Ice Path. Now I click on my ice float and tell the ice float, please use the pass. The pass is set to no value, now it's set to Ice Path. Path duration, let's use 200, this means 10 seconds, because every second has 20 frames in duration. You can scrub around here and you see it 
goes along the path. Go to the preview mode and you see the ice floats along this really nice curve. The only thing you have to do now is to make it bigger. Oh, and the, and the ice float is ending a little bit outside. I don't want to have this, so I move the point a little bit more inside. Now um, I go here and go to the record mode. I remember the scale at the beginning and at the end I set another key after 200 frames for scale. Go here and now I make it bigger. So back to here. Now you see while it floats around, the ice float gets bigger and bigger. I rewind. And that's it. You can move the BC curve outside because it's a relative animation and it's always relative to the starting position you set. So even if you move it outside and start again, all works as intended. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching and have fun playing around with the busy curves.